Is there fake alcohol in the Dominican Republic? Miko Worldwide here. Thank you for tuning in. Now, before we get started, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming travel videos, hot topics, or tips on where to travel next. Now, before we get into the truth about fake alcohol in the Dominican Republic, what is fake or counterfeit alcohol? Fake or illegally produced alcohol is alcohol that is made in unlicensed distilleries or people's homes to be sold. Fake alcohol may be packaged to look like well-known legally produced brands. So why is fake alcohol bad for us? Drinking fake alcohol is dangerous because you don't know what you're consuming, it is unregulated, it can contain various chemicals and varying levels of alcohol by volume or ABV. Now, this goes without saying, alcohol in general is extremely unhealthy, um, typically unhealthy for the human body, especially the liver. It's known to cause liver disease. Um, it's bad for the brain, but just your whole body because your whole body is connected. So it's bad for your entire being. Um, so let's not put it on just bad alcohol, but alcohol in general, we need to be cautious of how much we're consuming um, especially when we go on vacation, typically some of us like to indulge a little bit too much. Now, is there fake alcohol in the Dominican Republic or DR? Guys, come on, we know the answer to this. Homemade alcohol is big business around the world. And yes, it could possibly be in the DR as well. While highly unlikely because the DR produces its own rum, Bruegel. Probably tourist destinations all around the world are affected, especially in Asia. When we combine counterfeit alcohol with being overweight, with being up in age, and various prescribed medications, yes, fake alcohol can cause death. Now wait, 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 before you click off the video, let me explain. An estimated 3.2 million Americans visited Dominican Republic last year in 2018. The confirmed deaths are not out of the ordinary, and the number is lower than in some previous years. In both 2011 and in 2015, through June, it was reported that 15 tourists died in the Dominican Republic. But statistics show you're more likely to be killed in a homicide back home in the States than die of unnatural causes in the Dominican Republic. In 2015, 30 Americans died uh, in the Dominican Republic of unnatural causes. And in 2016, that number was reduced to 18. And then in 2017, that number was reduced to 17. And that number was reduced down to 13 in 2018. Congratulations, DR. That's what we look for when we travel. Um, these numbers are getting, are improving each and every year. In other words, the odds of a U.S. visitor dying unnaturally in the Dominican Republic in 2017 was about 0.82 per 100,000 visitors. The odds dropped even further last year to 0.58 per 100,000 visitors. Okay, so as you see, um, the likelihood of you or me dying of an unnatural cause in DR is very low and it's getting lower as the years progress. It's just that in these other years, the US media didn't report, um, didn't focus on this country for reasons that I uh, mentioned in my previous video. Okay, so where have there been reports of counterfeit alcohol? There have been reports of death related to toxic bootleg alcohol over all over the world, from Iran to Indonesia to Mexico. Earlier this year, there were at least 150 deaths linked to alcohol poisoning in India, which officials attributed to the sales of bootleg uh, 
country-made liquor containing methanol. While not unheard of, there are relatively um, few counterfeit alcohol-related deaths in the United States, in large part due to a more rigorously regulated alcohol sales and distribution system than in the other countries. So what is the evidence that's linking these deaths to counterfeit alcohol? As of now, there is none. It's just a working theory. Okay guys, so how can you avoid counterfeit alcohol? So the least popular way is to stop drinking alcohol altogether. You will do your body some good. Now back to reality. There is no 100% guaranteed way. However, when traveling, it is advised to look for the four Ps. Place, product, price, and packaging. You should only purchase alcohol from licensed bars, restaurants, and retailers rather than buying booze from a remote location or drinking anything offered to you by a stranger. It is also a good idea to stick to drinking only brands that you recognize. Even so, it is important to check the label on the bottle for misspelled words. Also, it is crucial to check the glue on the label to make sure it is firmly secured as well as the seal on the bottle to ensure that it hasn't been tampered with. So to ensure that you're not consuming any alcohol that has been made in unhygienic or unprofessional ways, turn the bottle upside down and see how the bubbles rise. You should never drink any beverage that contains unidentified uh, particles or sediments. As tempting as it may be to purchase a bottle of whiskey from a local store at an extremely low price, I advise against it. If the price seems too good to be true, it probably is. Be mindful of discounted alcohol. Okay guys, so that wraps up today's video. If you found any value at all from the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, your subscription means the world to me. Uh, additionally, share this video so that we can get the truth out there. Um, there's so much fake news, um, misinformation out there, and it's very important that we help our brothers, our sisters, our neighbors um, know the truth. Because honestly, for those of us who have our boots on the ground, those of us who've been to DR, know that it's a wonderful destination. It's a great country. It's for the most part safe as it's ever been, and it's you know a place that. I enjoy going to, I'm sure you all enjoy going to. Um, if you don't have a passport or if you've never been to DR, try to keep an open mind um, because the news media definitely does influence us in ways that sometimes we don't even realize. So I would say um, do a little bit more research on the positivity, on the positive things about DR and just know that when you have three million people traveling on vacation in a year, um, of course, we will have some uh, fatalities, which is very unfortunate. And my heart um, goes out to those families of the people that um, did pass away. So um, from here on out, uh, just be safe and be mindful. Make sure you look for the four Ps, place, product, price, and packaging. Okay, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and thank you for tuning in from Miko Worldwide. See you guys next time.